Okay, hello everyone. I'm going to show today how to use Tata for Excel uh, for econometrics. So here is the first uh, screen that when you open up your Tata file, you see it. And I want to introduce this thing to you. So let me look into this here. If you put it here, this you can see this is five very standard Windows uh, menu bars that is there. So if you put a file here, what you will see that you can open a Tata file, you can do quite a lot of things. We'll come back on this, uh, how to import, how to export, how to take a log. So these are the things that we will do. Uh, in edit, when you have same edit data, you can look into the data and do certain things there. We will learn it. Graph, you want to do any graph, you can use this graph. Or many types of graph that exist in the econometrics, not that everyone you know now. There is also statistics where you can do quite a lot of things depending on how good you are in statistics, uh, in econometrics, a uh, lot of things that you can do. Uh, user, Windows, and help. So obviously these are the first few things that we should know. Uh, the next thing that you would like to know is what is called how many windows. So here, look at this one. This is one window. And this is where you will always see the command that you have already used in Stata. So if let's say if I, I want to do a command called help, uh, it shows me a window help immediately what to do. But uh, if I close this one, I can see that it has given this one, which means I have already run one command and the command called help. Uh, so that's something that we should know that anything that I run in this window, which is the command window, uh, that anything you do here, it will show it. Let's say I want uh, uh, test. And uh, when I say I want test, look at this one. It has given me a red color, uh, which means it's showing me that there is an error. There is an error code number 301, which is corresponding to this one. So this is an error. So it will explain what type of error it is. But it also explains here, last estimates not found. In other words, test is a command, but it is uh, you need to estimate something, then you say test. That's why it says I didn't find anything, so I could not do anything. So this is uh, to understand that you can use, uh, so it's like you can give a command here, look at this window, it is giving you the results. So anything you do, so for example, when I said help, it did not show me anything, which means it was a perfect one. This time I said test, immediately it gave a red color and uh, a error number, which is stored here. And it shows me that, uh, yes, whatever command I have given, this is the result of it, and this is what is keeping record. Of. So on the right hand side, right here you have a window which is a variable window which basically means that anything that if i remember the econometrics there are variables i need y x x1 x2 so any variable that i need should be here if i have any variable in my memory in my computer it should be here this is how it describes the properties of a variable and this is how it describes the data set so we will learn about all of them but i think the most important part for us to know is that the there are one two three, four, five major windows that we should always look carefully. Okay, so this is your first understanding of Stata. We are going to go here and we say, look, if I want to do something, I can use this uh, menu to do things, or I can write a set of commands in a program, and I can do it. In order to write the program, I need a do file. So normally, whatever we do, we start with a new do file, and we keep and we write everything that I want to do in this do file so that we keep a record of what we have done. I will show you how to do it. But for now, let us understand that how, what is this data? How do I, how does it look like? And, uh, and how it is, uh, what are you going to do with it? So this is the first uh, part of the lesson. 